I, I'm, I'm a bold guy, so I went up to Seattle and knocked on a guy's door named Howard Schultz, chairman CEO of Starbucks. And I said, Howard Schultz, minorities, we like coffee too. Right? So he said, Irvin, we don't do franchisees. I said, I'm not here to become one. I'm going to put up half the money. You put up half the money. Let's build Starbucks in urban America. Now, the board voted on it and said yes. And now I'm building Starbucks in the inner cities of America. No, hold on. No, we're going to clap later. <laughs> the headlines in the LA Times said, no way minorities would pay $3 for a cup of coffee. We'll pay $3 for a cup of coffee. We quite don't know what scones are, though. <laughs> so I had to take the scones out of my Starbucks, put sweet potato pie in, pound cake, socket to me cake, peach cobbler, pecan pie, things that resonate with the urban consumer. Now, uh, young lady right there, you, come on up. Yeah, I'm on, come on, real quick. Yeah, what's your name? What's your name? Melody? Where are you from? Dallas. Dallas. So, oh, okay. So, Melody, what's your favorite music group? Group? Or singer. Country singer or whatever. Not country. Uh, yeah, The Weeknd. The Weeknd. And who else? Um, Drake. Oh, she got some good... She got some good talent. My man, you come on up. Right there with the tan. Yeah, come on, come on. That was you. What's your name? Scotty. Scotty, what's your favorite music? Stones. The Stones, okay. So that's what was playing in my Starbucks before I bought them. So I had to take the Stones out of my Starbucks <laughs> and put in the Weekend, Drake, Prince, Lionel Richie, because the stones wouldn't resonate with my customer base. And this goes to why I did this. My per caps, when they said it would never work in urban America, was $4.59 a customer. That's how much per customer spends. His per caps in suburban America was $4.51. Why? Because I put in things that minorities like. And what am I telling you? Write this down. Know your customer. Come on, let's get a picture. We're going to get a selfie, all three of us. <laughs> High five. Walk, walk her down. She got heels on. So, you got to know your customer, and you got to write this down. And you got to over-deliver to that customer. If I had a left the scones in, and if I had a left the Rolling Stones playing on that intercom system, I'm not over delivering to my customer, and then they would go somewhere else. But because I tweaked my Starbucks to fit urban America and the urban consumer, that's why my per caps were so high. That's why I was able to build 125 Starbucks in over 40 cities.